everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and for today's video I thought it would be really fun to show you everything that I'm packing for my photo road trip that I'm taking in like less than two weeks. Um, the primary reason we're going on this road trip is for my grandparents 60th wedding anniversary but the secondary reason is of course so that I can make some photos. I'm working on a project that I'm not gonna be sharing with anybody on the internet except for brief sneak peeks on my future Patreon, but I'm going to be making a, hopefully a lot of images on this trip as well, which means I'm going to be putting a lot of photo stuff in my car. In the camera zone, I'm bringing my digital camera, my microphone, and my tripod that you're a part of right now. Um, and then I'm also, in terms of film cameras, I'm going to bring my Mamiya 645 Pro TL film camera. Um, I'm also bringing another lens for my digital camera as well. This is just a kit lens, but it's great. It works just fine. If my test roll of film turned out halfway decent, because I technically haven't seen any photos from this camera yet, but I will potentially also be bringing my TLR camera, my brownie reflex that I got at an estate sale. So I'm hoping that those photos will turn out so I can make some more images with it. Battery charger, we've got three extra batteries, we've got extra batteries for my film cameras because I've had my batteries run out on me in the middle of the wilderness and it's not very fun. And then I'm also bringing my remote for my digital camera as well. I'm hopefully not going to be actually like looking at my computer at all, but I'll be bringing my laptop and then an SD card reader just in case I need to offload any media. And then I've of course got all of my SD cards, 90 gigabytes worth of space, so we'll see if I fill it up <laughs> or not. A huge bag of... Mostly, I think this is all medium format film, but it's all expired, it has not been refrigerated, it has not been taken care of, so I'm hoping I'll get some really cool effects from it. So we'll see. And then in terms of lighting equipment, I'm bringing my tiny little button lamp that I've got. Uh, it's very handy for lots of like tiny up close details. And then I've also got this flashlight as well um, for any specific things I may want to do. And then of course I'm also bringing my Pavo tube um, and a light stand for it. So this is very nice because it is wireless. I can have it, you know, charged up um, and I don't have to like connect it to a separate battery source, which is very nice for when you're camping and stuff. The other light play sort of thing I'm bringing is this piece of literal garbage <laughs> that you can put in front of your lens and, and get some really cool lighting effects. Um, so I'll be potentially playing around with this, but I don't think I will be too much. And then in terms of like props and fun things for photos, I'll be bringing a can of atmosphere aerosol. I think this is like half full, so. This is not necessarily very good for outdoor situations, which I'll mostly be doing, but I would like to have it on hand just in case. And then I'm bringing some string just for a few photos that I might do. Like prop glasses just in case I want to switch up a character. Really old binoculars. Partially to look at things, but also for photos. <laughs> and then the other very fun thing that I'm bringing that I got for 50 cents at a neighbor's garage sale <laughs> is this fake spine from a skeleton so I'll probably be bringing this it kind of depends on space um, but I think it would be kind of fun to take some photos in the desert with this or something like that um, oh hello you want to smell smell the bones yeah what do you think what do you think I know it's so fun and then for costumes I'm trying to keep it <laughs> the list of costumes that I'm bringing very small um, and also I will be wearing them as like outfits as well so some of them have the dual purpose. I'm bringing a pair of tidy whities for a costume, a flesh colored bodysuit as well, my tattered shirt that I handmade, this really huge peasant dress that I've worn in a few different images as well and then I'm also bringing this like denim bodysuit as well. It's really cool for like, again, like deserty sort of photos or like industrial 
kind of vibes and stuff. And this will also be good because it's very cozy and it will be nice for a full day of driving and then I can immediately photograph myself and then immediately get a bed in this. <laughs> so this one's a good one. Jacket that I think would also be cool for, you know, any potential like desert or like industrial sort of vibes. Dress that is pretty versatile for a lot of different situations. Also bringing this dress, which it has this really beautiful pattern on it, and then it also has a separated, like, blue dress underneath it. So it's kind of doubles um, as two different outfits, which is also very nice. Um, and then I'm also bringing one dress that I'll be wearing to a wedding that we're attending as well, which could also be used for photos too, but I didn't bring it out here. And that's all the things that I'm bringing in terms of photo supplies, unless I've forgotten something. Please let me know if I've forgotten anything. The road trip is in two weeks. We're gonna be hitting lots of fun places. And I'm very, very excited for it. It's gonna be very fun. So I'm excited to take you along with me and show you some of the, the things we discover along the way. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave any comments if you have any comments or questions. Um, and you can subscribe if you want as well and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.